Okay guys, I'm going to do a little segment here about safety glasses. Now obviously whenever you're out uh, playing with air guns or power tools or firearms or uh, even like when I fly remote controlled helicopters, I always wear safety glasses. Uh, these are from the home improvement store. I don't know if you can read that, but they are certified as uh, uh, Z87 safety glasses. So these do carry the proper certification to be actual safety glasses. Um, but they're tinted. Uh, this is what I wear when I'm outdoors. Now these have gotten scratched and I'm going to retire them. So I figured it'd be interesting to do some tests. I've got some, uh, I've got an air gun here. This is a CO2 pistol, BB pistol, and it chronoed at about 360 to 400 feet per second depending on how much gas is in the CO2 and what kind of pellet I use. So 360 to 400 feet per second. I've got a 22 an actual firearm here and uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to fail. The safety glasses will not protect against a direct 22 hit. But the main point is uh, they'll protect against flying debris, uh, especially like when you're using a weed eater or power tool, you get uh, rocks and stuff thrown around. Uh, and so I'm going to simulate that with the BB. Uh, I believe that the safety glasses should protect against a direct BB strike. Uh, this is probably going to, 22 is probably going to blow right through it. But we'll, we'll see what happens. It'll be interesting. And I'll make this quick and uh, add some slow motion video for you. Okay, here's the test setup. I've got a piece of cardboard here, and I've uh, put the sticks on there to where the, the top of the cardboard is supported, so there is rigid support behind here. Got the safety glasses tucked in with the cardboard, uh, and I've got the ranch myself for safety. So I'm going to take a couple shots at these and show you the video. This is going to be a steel BB. Okay, that's going to hit the ground. Okay, I've got a new CO2 cartridge in here, and uh, I'm shooting these Raptor PBA pellets. Okay. I think I got a good hit there. Let's take a look and see what happened out there. Okay, it's raining right now, so I brought the target back underneath the cover here to show you. Uh, I don't know if you can see that real closely, but there's a divot right there. There's a divot where it was hit by, uh, I think, the PBA pellet, because that was not there when I shot the steel BBs. So maybe the steel BBs bounced off without any damage, or maybe uh, I'm just a bad shot. You can see that I shot all the way around here trying to get that hit. But definitely a solid hit right there. Uh, you can see the reflection. Uh, at, at the little divot there, um, but on the back side, you can feel a little bit of uh, a little bit of a bump, but it's definitely not through. It would have protected you against that direct strike. But whether or not the even with you wearing safety glasses, these other hits around the top of your head and uh, down in the chin here, that would uh, punch through your cheek probably. So even with safety glasses, uh, you have to treat air guns. Uh, BB guns uh, and, all and, and all firearms with respect and you treat the air guns just like you do with the firearms. Okay, now we're going to try a test with an actual firearm, a 22. i I'll be shooting just regular bolt pack federal ammo here. Uh, federal 22s. Tell if that hit it or not. I think that was a good hit. Here's what we got from the 22. You can definitely tell it punched several holes to it and knocked a big chunk out of the side here. And, uh, I know some people claim that some brands of safety glasses will protect them against a 22. Uh, this one never claimed to be that, but I'm, I'm just showing you. I mean, it's not really proving anything. I'm just saying what happens here. So it actually went through. This cardboard was clean before I started shooting. So definitely protects against BB. Um, 